Hello, I'm Brett with WIPdeveloper.com. When working with Lightning Web Components, one of the things you might have to access is a static resource. In this case, I would like to display an image inside one of the Lightning Web Components. Let's take a look at how to do that. I've already created a Lightning Web Component to access the static resource. And I've created a static resource, two static resources. One as an image and one that's a file or a folder. So I'm going to close those out because we don't need to see them right now. In the template that, of the component that we're going to access the static resource from, I would like to display the image. So let's create an image element. And our source for the image is actually going to be image path, which doesn't exist yet. Over in our JavaScript class, we don't have an image path yet, but let's make one. But what is it going to have? What we're going to do is use a import statement to get access to the static resource. Now we have import image to use from sale at salesforce slash use resource URL and then the name of our static resource, which is image to use. Now we'll just assign that to image path. Now if we save this, both of these are saved. Uh, I don't have the stat I don't have local development running, so I'm going to start that up. Once this is ready, I'll go back to my window. Oh, that is the wrong one. I'm going to refresh it here. This is the local development. You can see it loading stuff. Oh, and there we go. We have an image in our custom Lightning Web Component. Now let's deploy it and make sure it's all working OK. Looks like it's done deploying. There we go. That's accessing a static resource that is a single image. Now if we want to access an image that's inside a folder uh, static resource, it is very similar. What we're doing is importing the path of the test files re static resource and we're assigning it to folder to use and now we need to assign it in our component so that we have access to it. Now we've assigned folder to use or yeah the path to fold we've assigned the folder to use path to folder path and we can go back and look at it. And it's right there you see the path, relative path, to our static resource folder. But if we look in our folder, we see that test files actually contains an image and some JavaScript. And if we can't just put the um, WIP developer stash banner PNG, is we have to create a getter so that we can format the text for it. Back in the controller, let's create a getter. So in our getter, we are returning the folder path with WIP developer dash banner dash dot PNG appended to it. And now we want to access this in our template. We'll assign it to another we'll assign it as the source to another image tag. I'm going to get rid of this folder path right now because we don't need it. And we can see that we now have two images uh, on our page. And if we deploy this, we see our two images. So it seems pretty straightforward. Once you have access to your static resource, you can access the folders, or once you have access to your static resource, you can access the files that it contains since you have the path for it and it's relative from the root of the static resource. One thing to note is when using the local development server, sometimes, or 
When using the local development server, you may encounter issues if you add static resources or modify them after the server has been started. We see right now that the static resources are loading properly locally, but if we change the name of our banner image in the folder and update our controller to point to the new, the new file name, going to deploy it right now and we'll go back to our component and we see that it's not showing both images and if we look at the console we'll see that it's missing or it can't find that banner image on the server though it still it shows two images so what's going on is the static resources are only copied over to the local development server when it started so we can cancel out of our local development server and restart it and once it's running again we can go to our local development tab and everything's working as expected now so if you're working with static resources uh, and using the local development tab and you modified or and if you, you've edited your static resource uh, you might have to restart the local dev environment that's it for now remember to sign up for the weekly stand-up and you can get updated with any new information we have on wipdeveloper.com